Right, so if we have a, um, at y equals x squared and it moves um, 10 units upwards, then the new vertex will be at 0, 10. Because if you picture it on, if you shift upwards, then the vertex will be on still on the y-axis, but it'll be up at 0, 10. So that means that the equation then will be y equals x squared plus 10. And if you move, um, if you have a shift where we go two units downward and it opens down, then we know two things. First of all, the vertex is at 0, negative 2, and also a is negative. So this is going to be y equals negative x squared minus 2. And if we're going to graph this so that it moves four units to the right and one unit up, then the vertex is going to be at 4, 1. So our equation is going to be y equals, and in brackets, x minus 4 squared plus 1. And remember that um, in the general form, x minus h, then the vertex is going to be at h. So this is x minus 4, so the vertex is at positive 4. And if we shift 9 units to the left and 8 units down, then the vertex is going to be negative 9, negative 8. And so our h is negative 9. So we could write this as y equals, now I'm going to write it as m minus negative 9 squared minus 8. Just to review why it's plus. Um, remember, whenever you have minus a negative, that's the same as plus positive or just plus. So this is the same as x plus 9 squared minus 8. And so this is your formula for D.